Hello, so today we are going to do a, a tutorial video on how to service your FM DV20 valve. It's quite a straightforward procedure, so first stage is to disassemble the piston on the valve. So for that, you simply twist the knurled end of the valve, so this bit here. Now, when it's been on the car for a wee while, it might be a bit stiff to get off, and there is a bit of a cheat way to remove it. So this is a trim tool, plastic trim tool. Don't use a metal one because you will bruise the aluminium. But you can put it into the, um, the grooves in the trumpet and that will help give you some leverage. Again, you don't really want to put mole grips or, or um, stilsons on there because you're going to mark the alley. You unwind like so. And as that comes out, that will part. And this is the piston, which we need to remove. Now for this, you can try, it will prise out with your fingers, or alternatively, you could use some long nose pliers, with a bit of tape on the end ideally, and it will pull the piston out. But for this, I'll be able to get this out. And Jeff. Now sometimes with this, when you're trying to get the piston out. What you've got two O-rings on the piston, so these need to be pushed in on the occasion. Right, that comes. Followed by the spring. Clean off all your grease. Okay. Good. Once you've removed or the grease from your piston. Uh, the next step is to remove these two O-rings. Now, you can use needle nose pliers or some tweezers. Top tip for this is if you squeeze very slightly, you'll raise the O-ring, uh, you can put it off, and just simply remove both these O-rings. Doesn't matter if you break them, because we will be replacing these now. Okay, and also uh, the O-ring on the end of the valve, on the trumpet end of the valve. Again, just pick that up, this is quite fiddly. It's very small, there we go. And again, discard that. So, the valve now is in a ready state for the new kit to be fitted. So, the kit for uh, FM DV20 is FM DV SK FM DV20. So that's the kit you need to order. It should be on associated product. In the kit, you get red pot of grease, a forged sticker, and some replacement O-rings. In this kit, we get two and one. So these two here are the same. They're slightly thicker in diameter and thickness. These are gonna be for the piston. And the thinner uh, O-ring here, that's going to be the replacement for on the uh, trumpet's end of the valve. So simply with this one, just wrap it round and make sure it's all the way home to the edge of the dead stop of the milled edge here. So that will go on like so. O-rings onto the piston, pretty straightforward. Again, just start from the one end and just whip it round and that goes. And again, try not to overstretch them though, if you can, just as gentle as you can. So, there we go. Two O-rings installed now. Supply grease. And there, you get a decent help in. This is really good quality mobile grease that we use for forge. So, just smother just this face of the piston. Okay. That is not bad. Again, just a dab more. Never have enough on there, really. So there we go. So that is the piston now, ready for reinstallation. For reinstalling, remember to put the spring in first. So the spring is housed. There is a groove in there, and just drop the spring in there. Okay, and grab the piston. This can be a bit of a mucky job. No. There is a top tip on this also. When you're pushing this down, on the inside, you've got your two O-rings. Now, as you're pushing this down, 
the O-rings can catch the face of the valve, of the inside of the bore of the valve. So again, with a plastic trim tool ideally or a flat bladed screwdriver, just push them very gently, don't pinch it, as you're pushing the piston at the same time. So you're pushing the piston, you're pushing the O-ring down very so slightly. Because if you don't, it will catch. There's a bit of an art to it. There you go, using your finger there. And the same again, just Remember to push that o-ring down as you're pushing. There we go. Now, screw. So as this now screws up, again, just remember push the o-ring down as you're screwing it up there we go so that's now seated fine you haven't pinched the o-ring we do see this from time to time when customers service the valve um, and they can trap the o-ring in the actual uh, body of the valve so final stage now is to test your valve so push your piston down put your finger over the edge of the vat port now that should hold the piston upwards and as you let go, it will pop. We now know that this is an airtight system and that the servicing of the FMDV20 is now complete.